Hello YouTube, this is Mendoza Iris and I thought that lately I haven't been uploading any videos to YouTube uh, now that my account has the ability to upload videos longer than 10 minutes so I thought I should do a follow-up video uh, about my old video since 2009 it's installing Vocaloid I noticed there's been a lot of confusion uh, about how to use ISOs how to install the software and how to apply the crack and changing the most of the interface into English so uh, let's begin First of all, you probably downloaded Miku.iso right now from the link that I provided in the torrent. I'm not going to go over on how to do this. There's a lot of videos in YouTube on how to do that. So, uh, you're going to get this Miku.iso file. So, this is something that you need to burn. So, to burn ISO files, I suggest that you use uh infra recorder i'm going to put a link in the description of this video on where to download that and one thing that i like in this is it's free so once you install that and open it click right image and look for the miku.iso file that there and then insert a blank cd into your disk drive and then click OK. I don't have a blank disk drive now. So, and click OK and wait for it to go finish. When that's done, insert your Miku disk into the disk drive. And this whole video is all about Miku only. There's, as of now, there's a lot of Vocaloids. Um, but, but I'm sure that if you know how to do this, uh, it will be easier for you to uh, install uh, any more Vocaloids. Now that's inserted. Uh, if if autoplay doesn't run, click setup instead. Uh, there. Now I also remember that this torrent file comes along with uh, with a crack folder or crack that RAR uh, I suggest we don't use that at all I'm going to provide all the useful stuff instead because that only messes up the system and uh, one thing that there's been a lot of confusion is that uh, I used VirtualBox or a virtual Windows XP computer to install Vocaloid on my previous install uh, video so that raised a lot of suspicions that uh, this file is infected with a virus or spyware or something so instead I'm going to show you that I'm going to install it into my computer where all my uh, precious files are saved so uh, at least you know that this file is safe so click next install the Vocaloid to Fundamentals 2 remember this uh, location for future use because we're going to go into that folder in the future really click next and just, uh, just click next all the way and then it will begin installing so all we have to do now is wait for this to finish and when that's done I'll be back with you. I'm just going to pause the recording. Okay, the installation is now finished. And one, the first thing that will pop up is activate Vocaloid 2 now. So, uh, first we need to make a few downloads. Or if you downloaded the, all of the files in the torrent file, uh, there's a folder. Uh, there's a file called 
crack that drawer there's a keygen file in there and that's the same thing that we're going to use for this so I'm just going to download this so so this is the uh, keygen that we're going to use uh, open it and this will open up click yes in the activate volume to now click this PC has no internet connection uh, don't, don't don't click the one that says you have internet click next and then select your uh, network device uh, it's very easy for others because it's simply this green ones not the hard disk so click the one that your computer is using and at the same time click the same wireless device uh, I mean LAN device and click generate and it is going to ask you to save a Vocaloid underscore activation key file I suggest that you save it into a safe location but I'm just going to save it into my desktop and then it's done and click exit oh and by the way you can actually use Vocaloid right now even without uh, activation but I guess it's everybody prefers their software to be activated browse to where you saved uh, Vocaloid 2 activation key are there and then click open there you go and then it was going to say activation successful click OK and then congratulations and then click OK no I don't want to restart my computer because it works even without restarting you can click yes if you want but I'm recording my screen so I can't restart so now that Vocaloid is installed and activated click Vocaloid to editor and it is going to load and if this happens don't worry it's just a warning and if you can't read all of this just uh, accept the defaults and it is going to open up the Vocaloid to editor screen and uh, as you can see most of the I mean all of the interface is Japanese and if you are using a lower version of Windows such as Windows XP you will probably get uh, squares especially if you don't have the uh, Asian language pack installed so uh, what we need to do is close it now and uh, we need to go to where we installed Vocaloid that's uh, C program files Vocaloid 2 just locate that folder and we need to look for a file called Vocaloid 2 uh, Vocaloid 2 underscore Japanese dot DLL so uh, if you can't find that, uh, which most people uh, complain, I think that's much better because uh, if I delete this file, if I delete Vocaloid to underscore Japanese that DLL. Uh, it's going to open up the uh, screen and uh, everything is in, thing in English right away but uh, I don't feel comfortable with uh, deleting any important program files so uh, I'm just going to restore this instead and according to my old video we're going to rename this file into Vocaloid to underscore Japanese.dll 
instead into Vocaloid 2 underscore Japanese dot back there again click enter and yes and that's about it or you can rename everything that has underscore Japanese dot DLL in there like that uh, like also this but just renaming Vocaloid to underscore Japanese dot DLL dot back is already fine anyway you cannot do this at all just rename this file that's the very important fact uh, thing you can now close this and click open vocally to editor that x and right now all of the interfaces english uh, it's actually almost all of the interfaces english uh, some of the uh, controls are not just like this cancel button here and you can uh, already use Vocaloid now uh, I d I'm not really good with this so uh, I thought I should just help those who are uh, really much more competent with this those music makers and uh, if you're going to ask I know a lot of YouTubers are very sarcastic. Uh, downloading paid applications from torrents is uh, illegal. There I said it. Uh, and Vocaloid is a paid application. This is not a free software. And if you want to go free and uh, you're really serious about all that legal stuff, I suggest you go look up for Utau. U T A W. Uh, U T A U. It's uh, similar to Vocaloid, but it's free. So, uh, this is my follow up video regarding Vocaloid to installation. If you have any more problems, you can uh, leave a comment. So, uh, thank you for viewing this video, and uh, most of the things that I did here are optional. So just install Vocaloid and use it. I'm not suggesting that this is the way to do this. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.